And now, Storm Tracker weather with East Idaho's chief meteorologist, Doug Iverson. Tracking a little bit of snow right now down in Franklin County. We're getting some snow around Preston. That's that low overcast. It's been hugging that corner of the state. We've seen a lot of that low overcast over Pocatello. Finally got a break in it. We finally got some sunshine. Still looking at low clouds over the southeast corner, Bear Lake County, of course, Preston all the way to Malad City. And then we have low clouds in the upper highlands. So from about St. Anthony all the way to Island Park. And we'll probably continue to see that overnight. Some higher clouds over the southwest corner, but generally speaking, dry it will be with maybe an isolated flurry, which is what we're getting right now down around Preston. 15 in Montpelier, we'll call it cloudy there. Minus five already in Jackson. Uh, six above in Island Park, minus two in Yellowstone. We're nine above in Blackfoot and in Pocatello and in American Falls. We're sitting in the mid-teens. Already have the goose egg in Arco, minus one in Chalice, two above in Salmon, and my goodness, another awfully cold night in Stanley with a... A temperature right now of minus 9. They'll end up at about 16 below there. Arco, you're low tonight, 8 below. Pocatello in the single digits. A Blackfoot will be in the lower single digits and will be below the single or below zero at least in Idaho Falls tonight, minus one, three below in Rexburg and 12 below expected in Island Park. But the low clouds over the southeast corner will keep us above zero in both Soda Springs and in Montpelier and in Lava and Malad City. So that's the warm spot tonight. Maybe not necessarily the warm spot tomorrow. Temperatures will climb to the 30s off towards the west. Only spot on this map that will get above freezing will be Burley. So pack up the kids, the car, let's go, right? <laughs> a little a little bit of a tropical event over there right now. We've been so cold lately. 33, we'll take it, but we won't really get it in the Snake River Plain. Highs only in the 20s, 27 for a high in Blackfoot. American Falls, you'll see a high of 28. Even up in Montana, they'll be in the 20s. 28 expected up in Dillon. 25 in Ledore, Mackey at 24. Haley, even Haley's doing a little better than we will. Temperature-wise, they're high right at 30. Seven-day forecast as we look ahead into the weekend. As I mentioned earlier with Threat Tracker, we are dry all weekend long. We'll finally get above freezing on Sunday. It's just too bad we're not there long. Monday, we're still above freezing, but starting Monday, there's a chance of snow Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. I know falls, no chance of snow this weekend. High still in the 20s. Uh, coldest night coming up after tonight will be Saturday night, Sunday morning, and then we could see snow next week. Rexburg, will be dry all weekend, and then there's those chances of snow Monday through Wednesday, and high temperatures will top out at about 30. That's the warmest day coming up. Teton area seven day forecast, 30 also expected, but that will be with some snow on Monday, snow on Tuesday, chance of snow on Wednesday. And for the central mountains, lots of sunshine this weekend. Of course, clear sky equals also clear sky at night and temperatures drop and down well into the single digits. Not quite so cold at night next week and we may actually get some snow when the temperature rises just above freezing on Monday.